Hey everyone, this is Cholera, and I'm joined with me by a special guest commentator. You've heard her before, and if you know her, you love her. This is Peanut from SC2GU.com. She is involved in all aspects of esports, from uh, going to Korea and meeting pro gamers, dealing with Kespa there, dealing with all sorts of industry officials there, um, getting to know uh, you know all sorts of people in BlizzCon and World Cyber Games. She is just like one of the biggest enthusiasts of esports ever, and uh, it's great to have you along. Hey, uh, how are you doing, Peanut? I'm doing very well, thank you, and thank you for <laughs> listing my partial resume of esports accomplishments. Um, you should, there are you lots. should really be, you should really be my personal promoter. You know, I need you, I need you out there to tell people what, what kind of a big deal I am, and just to open doors for me and get me <laughs> places in this world. Uh, seriously. Wow, that's a pretty big role. But I'm a pretty yeah. good guy, so maybe I can, maybe I can handle that. I think you could. Wow. I think you could. Okay, well, <laughs> let's get started with the game here. Uh, this is Quasin versus Magma. Sorry, I'm bringing you the commentary of the MSL Survivor Tournament, round of 64. This is Group 3, and this was supposed to be a really uh, epic series, according to Shikyo from SC2G.com, who is a very reliable person because he scouts, he watches like every game live. He's ridiculous, and he tells us what's good. Oh. So um, this was supposed to be a really good series, yeah. This uh, first mm -hmm. game is Quasin versus Magma. Um, the other two players are here. Hero V and Midas, so it's going to be a Protoss, two Tyrants, and a Zerg. And of course, uh, the, there's two matches between the first two pairs: a winner's game, a loser's game, and a final game, like all the MSL best of uh, MSL groups of four. So uh, in the first game, we're going to have Hwasen versus Magma. Hwasen is a strong uh, Terran player who's been around the block a few times. Uh, he is from STX Seoul. He is really good against Zerg, actually, statistically. He's 63% against Zerg. Meanwhile, Magma is on Eastro. I guess he's one of their better Zergs. I guess he's he's their best Zerg but that's not saying too much because it's Team Eastro. So he's only 33% against Terran. He actually is 0-3 and three this season uh, in the Pro League. Uh, but, you know, anything can happen. This is StarCraft. This is Byzantium 2, by the way. And, uh, you know, this is a, uh, a big cross position here, so I guess this is going to benefit Magma a little bit. Uh, we had the SC2GG show match earlier today, by the way, and... Um, it seems that we're going to be having the VODs up in a few days for those of you who weren't able to uh, watch them. But uh, how do you think they went, uh, Peanut? And uh, what was your what was your favorite match out of them? Um, let's see. I think I think they went very well. Um, although there were some technical glitches, uh, which was unfortunate. I really liked. Let's see. I liked the game with you and Psionic. Uh, I was casting that with Greth, and Greth <laughs> was just trash talking Psionic, and you guys were trash talking each other at the at the beginning of the game. That was really funny. Psionic is just hilarious. And then also that two v two where Diggity got subbed in at the last minute, and then uh, was promptly ganged up on. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, I, yeah, that was a fun game. Uh, did you get actually? Were you around the end when you saw Mr. Bitter versus Val? I don't know. I think no, you went off on was... your uh, your date already uh yeah her date at six o'clock but uh anyway uh well, that was that was i think the best game it was ridiculous mr bitter was is a hero that man is a hero to me he is so wow. heroic like he had two bases his protoss two bases against four bases of balls and somehow he managed to win that game uh when that comes wow. up you guys all have to watch it it was incredible yeah uh, anyway, we're seeing an early gas here, an early spawning pool, well, not an early spawning pool, but uh, a 12 hatch into spawning pool uh, from Magma. So Magma's going to be going most likely for two hatch mutalisks here. Meanwhile, Hwasen has built his uh, barracks inside his base, actually. This is a little bit surprising. Um, on this map, it's quite easy to wall in at your natural expansion. If you build two supply depots and a barracks, you can get a almost complete wall, and I think it's uh, permeable to Zerglings, but nothing else. And it's a it's a common route we see Terrans take, but this lends me possibly to think that Hwasen might be going for a two racks or possibly for a mech build, because it seems that he's not going to go for that. Well, it looks like I, I might... Well, I'm completely wrong. All right, I got yep, old. Yep, there we go. He is going for the transit. <laughs> I got old, but uh, I was going to say, you know, it's not the best position, because... Um, this is Byzantium, and if you can see, Peanut, uh, there's your main is inside, is on the low ground, and your natural mm -hmm. is on the high ground. So if the Zerg player can get up uh, in between you and your natural, you're in huge trouble. You're gonna have oh, to fight yeah. uphill battle. Yeah, that would not be good. Um, so we'll we'll definitely see how that plays out with this uh, with this expansion build. I will I will be very interested to see um, how the how the Zerg player can exploit that interesting that interesting variation in this map. Yeah. 
And uh, we're seeing a couple of lings out now for uh, Mr. Magma. Magma, you know, really not playing very well this season. I He he actually, uh, the only game I've seen of him is uh, a game against Boxer, where he got rocked pretty badly by, um, I believe, yeah, Boxer went like fast rates into drop, into Medic Marines. It was crazy. It was on Neo Requiem, which leads to kind of crazy games. But uh, he got rocked pretty badly there. So I'm expecting him to do bad against uh, Hwasen here. Hwasen getting a second racks up. Looks like he's actually going to uh, not go for the earlier gas. He's going to go for just a couple more Marines. He's playing it really safe, which I think is a smart idea against uh, a player who's not as good as you. Um, you generally want to play safe and, uh, yeah. and and try to, you know, try try to just win him in the beat beat him in the long run, not get caught off guard. Um, but, yeah, yeah when, there's a, a lot of. Mm -hmm. um, when you go when you go out on a limb, there's always that potential f to make the one mistake that somehow gets exploited by chance or whatever that can cost you. So I, if I were, if I were a really good player going up against someone who wasn't as experienced, I would certainly go safer. And you were you were definitely a very good player, as you showed today against Radwell. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 well, I don't know <laughs> you. You, you, she, she, Peanut is such a trooper. Like, seriously, she went and, and played Radical, even though I think, how many times have you played StarCraft, like, this year? Like, you are, you know, a senior at, uh, at one of the very good universities in this country. <laughs> Won't say which, if you don't know. But, uh, and you are ridiculous. Like, uh, how many times have you played StarCraft? Like, and you still played Radical, who's, like, the head of SC2GG, of course, and, uh, you know, used to be very good. I mean, uh, I would say that I have a lot of guts. Um, I do try to play StarCraft whenever I can. Um, I was uh, uh, over at this Team Liquid meetup actually for the MSL finals, and we were, we played some we played some games there, and that was really fun. I don't get to play as much as I'd like to, but you know that's life. Yeah. All right. And sorry, before I get blamed for uh, just you know spending my time talking to Peanut, this is a lurker rush we're seeing here. Very very exciting. Uh, I think it actually might exploit the fact that these barracks are on the low ground because you see what I'm saying, Peanut. Uh, you know, I didn't watch this video beforehand, but if he can get those lurkers in between the the natural expansion and the uh, main base, those Marines are not going to have a chance of getting up that ramp. And I remember uh, when I was when I was practicing to play on this map against a turn player, I practiced a couple of uh, lurker builds also, um, just in case you know you had a situation like this. And, and looks like see this is going to hurt him a lot. There's no mm. wall in here, yeah. Um, and he's got just he's got two scanners, but no turrets up even. So this is going to be really bad. See, this is this is why I love lurker rushes, Peanut. Uh, I don't know if you've <laughs> heard of that, but uh, I don't know. I'm I'm supposedly quite famous for my lurker. My love of lurker rushes, although I think they are not. I don't. I wouldn't use them in every matchup. Uh, people, people always say like, "You're gonna go for the cholera build," and I'm like, "No," but this is uh, kind of the cholera build here. <laughs> oh, I see. So, uh, are you saying that 